Hey YouTube, this is Rescue Amusement Park Fan 62. Back in the summer, I made a video called like Jimmy Industry Inflatables. Talk about the basically the cheap fan inflatables and inflatables in general, the history. Well, I'd like to do a follow up to that, but in a slightly unique way. Um with Halloween come and gone, um, that made me look over the inflatables some more. And it made me realize of inflatables in general. And the, especially the cheap fan ones. Now, I understand that Jimmy is a business. Therefore, they have to make money. But if your products are not doing that good or having issues and you expect to sell more is really not such a good thing. Now, for example, I got this inflatable last Christmas. So it's one year old, slightly over one year old. And its LED lights are about shot already. And it was 40 bucks. While Something like my Happy Haunting sign I got, or my um, Ghoul Trio, or my um, Hovering Ghost, I guess that's the official name for it, I don't know. Those are about $40 more than the snowman I just showed you. And their LEDs are fine. Now, it, I I know that for something $40 and under, you're not going to get the best quality inflatable possible. I realize that. Uh, but if you're spending that kind of money, you need for it to work. Just like... If you would buy a new PS5, PlayStation, or, or Xbox 360, or Xbox One, or whatever, and it works for about a month and then quits, you'd be mad too. It's the same sort of scenario with these. Even though these only get used around 30 days, maybe 40 at most, uh, during the season... Um, you still hope it for it to last for a while. Now, the other thing I did not mention in my video at the time, which I should have, was the adapters for a lot of the cheap fan inflatables. Now, they all have different types of adapters. Um... Especially a lot of the uh, of the smaller ones or the cheaper ones, I should say. They kind of have like these long adapters. Uh, here's the box for one. So you kind of get an idea of how long it is. Um, but the problem with those are you set them out. And even if there's a slight per per like rain or snow or whatever, they fail. And especially if you have a lot of them, that's not cool to do because then you get into the scenario of, okay, I have, let's say, 20 cheap fan inflatables. And on um, um, yardinflatable.com 
for one of them about this size is 28 bucks minus shipping and stuff. So you're telling me you have to spend 20, you have to buy 20 of those, assuming they're the same size, for something that is not going to last. And that, and to me, that is something that is not cool because you're spending your hard earned money on these just for them not to work. That to me is not cool because that is showing you, the consumer, that all they care about is money. They're just making it as cheaply as they can so they can make money off of you. Now, the other thing that is starting to become a problem with inflatables in general are you can't really see it behind me, but I have two of my Halloween inflatables still out. Now you're like, okay, it's almost mid-December. Why are your inflatables still out? Good question. Well, during Halloween or before I set them up, their um, vase, um, their base broke. Both of these which you cannot see behind me, but one is my 10-foot pumpkin reaper right here. And then down, farther down, is my 12-foot spooky tree. Now, the pumpkin reaper is seven years old. The tree is three years old. And... Both of their ba bases almost have the exact same type of um, being broke. I'll do a separate video on those, in my opinion. But, I understand they have to use what the cheapest materials they can to make money. I do. But the problem is... With you being cheap, it shows. Because, for example, I have seen comments and other stuff on people buying Jimmy-related products, not just inflatables, and them not lasting that long, such as projectors, icicle lights, any of the any of the Disney line through Lowe's. Anything like that. And that to me is showing. That. Jemmy does not care about quality. They're just caring about your money. And to me that is not right. Because you spend your hard earned money on these. Doesn't matter if you have one or one hundred. It, the amount of you have does not matter. What does matter is you spent your hard-earned money that you, whatever your job is, on one of these just for it not to last. Now, I understand that, you know, in certain areas, they may get treated a little bit more differently due to uh, certain climates, such as wind or snow or rain or whatever. I understand that, but those are made for that type of thing. So what I don't understand is why can't these have better quality, even if the price is $2 more? I don't care about... the price difference, what it would take for these to be better. Like, I have a um, pumpkin patch through Airflows. Now, it's not... That is not a bad product. It, it has done some weird things, but I am ignoring that fact for a minute. 
What I cannot ignore is the fact that that air flows is five years old now, maybe. I have to go back and look. The LEDs on it are still good, except for one which went out. I have no idea why. Um, but everything else still works on it. It has done something weird in the past, um, but it got fixed magically. What I cannot understand is why Jimmy's can't do that. Like, their adapter literally fixed itself within 24 hours. Where Jimmy's, if that would happen, it'd just be down. Like, my happy haunting sign that I bought, which was $80, I believe. It was not out not even two weeks before the adapter fried. And the thing was... We we had like a very small rain when it fried. I don't understand that because if those are if that is made to be outside, why do they fry? It, that just boggles my mind that something with a little per, little bit of precipitation can fry a whole adapter that is literally just a plastic is literally just plastic a board inside and two metal prongs the board is to help plug it you know with the fan and stuff but it boggles my mind that literally something like that can literally fry with it just being plastic i my 2012 pumpkin through Walmart that has been through since I've had it so many adapters it's not even funny like the original adapter it came with fried within two weeks maybe three because of a heavy rainstorm we had and I could not use it that Halloween and the following Halloween because one, I forgot about it, and two, I had I didn't have an adapter at the time, so it wasn't until 2014 I could, or 15, I started using it again, but having to get inflatables like this to start using it again, and. I am going to use it more over the following years as long as it can be used. But it boggles my mind that something like that will happen. The other thing that boggles my mind is, especially with the 20 foot inflatables through like at home and several other retailers. how you they manage to put a fan that is slow and good enough for like a six or eight foot inflatable but put it in a 20 foot inflatable like i talked to a at home employee last year and said those 20 foot inflatables took like two minutes to inflate or something like that now, that may not seem like a lot of time, but if you're the type of person that is on a time crunch and you expect to set something like this up in, let's say, five minutes or less, and it takes two minutes alone just for it to inflate, that leaves you three minutes, plus or minus, to stake it down. What is wrong with that picture? What I'm saying in this almost 15 minute video is we need, Jimmy needs to get their quality under control 
and make the products like they used to instead of just being like okay it's this basically Chinese made crap that they know they won't it won't last so let's just throw it out there what I'm saying is they need to get their quality under control and start making stuff like they used to instead of just having like basically making it like an expensive throwaway item.